This presentation has been created to provide you with important information regarding e-learning phase two and what you are to expect if you are returning for on-campus e-learning. To ensure a smooth and safe return to in-person learning, students that selected on-campus e-learning will return to school following the schedule below. October 8th is a teacher planning day. October 9th, self-contained ESC students return. October 12th is an early release day. October 13th, ninth graders return. October 14th is another early release day. October 15th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders return. October 16th is an early release day. And October 19th is a teacher planning day. Beginning October 9th, both on campus and at home e-learning students will return to the traditional bell schedule. In addition, the silver black calendar has been updated to accommodate the phase two schedule. While on campus, all students will be expected to adhere to the following rules and regulations. Everyone will be physically distanced and required to wear a face covering at all times. Students must bring a laptop to school each day. If you do not have a laptop, please call the school to request one. When traveling through the halls, students will be expected to walk on the right side and practice physical distancing. Water fountain use will be prohibited and students will have to bring their own water. In addition, Hall passes will not be provided and students will be escorted to their destination when leaving class during instructional times. Students will not be allowed to use the restrooms during class exchanges to ensure physical distancing in the restrooms. Posters, hand sanitizer dispensers, and floor stickers have also been placed in strategic locations around the school to serve as a constant reminder to practice physical distancing and proper hygiene, to walk on the right side of the halls, and to wear a face covering. Students returning to campus will have to bring headphones for their team's meetings. And finally, students that exhibit symptoms will be escorted to a secure isolation room away from the general population. All students will be required to report to the cafeteria or mini gym prior to the start of the first class of each day. Physical distancing will be practiced. Students will be seated at individual desks while in the cafeteria and mini gym. Students will be released from the cafeteria and mini gym in an orderly manner. Breakfast and lunch will be served grab and go style. Students will be required to sit in the cafeteria and mini gym during meal times and will remain there until dismissed. Students will also be expected to leave campus immediately after school each day. At this time, there are no in-person after school activities except for fall sport practices. Students participating in fall sports must report to the bike rack immediately after school. When you return to campus, you will find that we have put into place physical distancing protocols in each classroom and the cafeteria. As you can see from these photos, desks have been placed six feet apart. In addition, Spacing markers have been placed on the ground to ensure desks remain six feet apart. In addition, seating in the cafeteria will now comprise of individual student desks. You will also find that all water fountains have been covered to prevent use, and hand sanitizer dispenser, physical distancing posters, and face covering posters have been placed in strategic locations throughout the school. Finally, you will see that we have placed physical distancing stickers on the floor, along with direction signs reminding students to remain on the right side of the hall. These have been put into place to ensure that students are maintaining physical distancing while traveling through the halls. And as a final reminder, face coverings are absolutely required and you are strongly encouraged to bring headphones for e-learning. If you are watching this presentation and you are the parent or guardian of an Everglades High School student, please be aware of the following. 
Students can only be dropped off in the parent loop off Bass Creek Road. The 172nd Avenue parent drop-off loop will be closed until further notice. All visits to the school will be by appointment only. All visitors must wear face covering and practice social distancing. Please call 754-323-0500 to make an appointment. All conferences will continue to be conducted virtually. Students will be cleared from campus immediately after school and will need to be picked up promptly, if applicable. Currently, there are no after-school, in-person activities except for fall sports practices. If your child needs a device for on-campus e-learning, please contact the school to make an appointment to pick up a laptop. Parents were asking that if your child tests positive for COVID-19 or exhibits symptoms, please keep them home. If your child exhibits symptoms after coming to school, they will be placed in an isolation room and must be picked up from school promptly. Thank you for viewing this presentation. Have a wonderful day and go Gators!